that's crusty. Oh, that's crusty. That's the only way to describe the Nintendo DS sometimes. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my playthrough of Spectrobes, a game I f loved as a kid so much and have decided I wanted to show off one day. For those of you who don't know, uh, Spectrobes is a DS game by Buena Vista Games. Yes, the folks behind Disney games and helping with Kingdom Hearts and stuff, but not Square Enix. And uh, this game is not great, but it opens a foundation for a very cool, like, universe and sequels. Ignore the playtime, that was just me testing out the, um, uh, to make sure that the microphone worked, because that's part of this. But uh, I love this game, this ain't blind. This is, this is a walk down memory lane for me. I am playing it emulated because that's the only way I can. So, let's go. Big Crust. Yeah, I can't do anything to make those better. That's that's the quality on the DS, actually. That That is how it looks. Uh, the, all, all the rest of it, we can make look better. The everything else, the, the pre-rendered, not much we can do. Anyways, Gina and Rallin here. Gina, it's the first mission we've had in ages. We can't afford to mess this up. Well, Rallin, whose fault is that? We haven't gotten any interesting cases lately because you always go off on your own and do things your own way immediately. Immediately, these characters have history. I can't believe you said that. I always get the job done. Oh, you can immediately see. Run! Sir! Gina? Yes, Commander. You can immediately see the power dynamics, and it's great! I have details regarding your upcoming mission. We have detected a strange object that appears to have come from deep space. It dropped out of the sky and trashed into the surface of Dai Chi, the second planet in Nanairo. Your mission is to locate, investigate, and return the object for a further study. Yes, sir. Rallon, one more thing. Stick to the plan and no monkey business. Do you understand? Uh, yes, sir, I understand. We'll get the job done. Understood, sir. I'll be waiting for your report. You got that, Rallon? No monkey business this time. What monkey business? You sound just like the commander. Why is everyone so uptight? Hey, check it out. Looks like we're approaching Dai Chi. Roger, preparing ground scan. Huh? Looks like it's raining down there. Just ignore the big ooze bubble around it. That's all we gotta do. Now, this is a dual screen game, and it's one of those ones that uses it where you can actually see everything, so that's why I have the full screen. Even though here it doesn't look like much, it w it is actually like a full screen game when we get to it. All right, Rallin, you're up. Hit the ground and see if you can locate the object you're supposed to find. If you stumble onto something odd or curious, just press A to investigate it. By the way, just press A button and run in any people you want to talk to. Understood. I'll be counting on you to back me up from the ship. Beep boop bop. Our radar has already detected the object. Looks fairly close. Happy hunting! So we got little, like... Like, these are sprites, I'm pretty sure. They don't look like 3D models. Well, I don't know, because look, looking at moving there, it might be. I actually can't tell. Object looking for is to the north of all the cliffs, and you should find it. God, I've run through this intro so many times. So yeah, as you can see, it's, like, dual screen. But for the sake of, like ensuring that I have enough space. I kind of shortened the border there. Don't forget you can use the recovery pod to heal or save Ral. Maybe you should save before you head out. Fine, Mom. Let's hop on in. Do you want to heal? Yes. Do you want to save? Yes. Something, something, but you're still hungry. Okay. Let's go. As you can see, here's the planet. We got a uh, lot of rain. A lot of rain. So much rain you can barely see where you're going. We got a big old crash thing here. 
it is a bit it is a bit weird with having the two screens not the right amount because then it doesn't actually make it look like it should. But uh, again, that's just a thing I'm doing for the sake of the video. Dang, it's a dude in a pod. There is a man lying inside the escape capsule. He appears to be alive. More importantly, huh? What's this thing? Looks like it's perfectly made to fit the wrist section of my suit. Round found a Prism mod. It's Ben 10. Just pop it on the wrist, huh? Oh, uh, does fit. Looks pretty cool. Wonder what it is. When in doubt, put foreign materials right on your suit. Rallon, how's it going? Have you found anything? Gina, I've located the object. It looks like some kind of escape capsule from a spaceship. And there's no man inside. Is he still alive? Yeah, dude's chilling. I don't know. If he is alive, he's unconscious. His eyes are closed and he's not moving. Well, just call him Mr. X for now. Uh-oh. He's going to be appearing and coming after me, huh? Whoa, what's that? Round, what's happening? There's a huge black tornado. It's coming straight at me. It's moving like a living creature. Here's the random encounter. All right. So we got make round an attack, charge up energy, change his weapons during future battles, charge attack, change charge attack, and left and right spectrobe actions. Use the LNR buttons to command the Spectrobes and defeat the Crawl. So it's immediately just throwing us in, right? So we got... So it's a unique combat system where basically you press a direct... You press... You kind of command them at your on your shoulders. And you press L to attack, right? L or R. So there's a bit of audio crust. We'll see about fixing that in the future. Uh, we also do have a punch. It is worthless. Rallin does nothing. Rallin is not the reason that you... Oh yeah, there's there's a bit of audio crest. Again, I'll work on fixing that there. Now we also have our charge there. Which if you charge up... God, I remember this so much. So we charge and charge and charge and charge. We can now press L and R. Right? Or no, I guess not. Oh wait, no, we need to go, we need to go this, and then there we go. So we pop it. And you get an elemental burst. I forgot about that. That's how I basically beat the game as a kid. I would run away and hide and use that. Let's see. Don't, don't you guys have like a charge attack too? Yeah. What's your charge attack? Oh, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh yeah, it's a bit audio crust. I'm gonna have to fix that. We got some mine energy. Cool, cool, cool. We got some Gura. Can I get some Kali? Some Ina maybe? It's a joke for y'all. You might get it. Round, come in! Come in, what's your status? Are you okay? I think something really weird just happened. I think so, something really weird just happened. I'll fill you in when I get back. I'm preparing the capsule for transport back to our ship now. Roger! Wow, my moves had little or no effect. Yeah, no matter what you do, you won't be hurting them. But those creatures that left out of this wrist device, uh, wipe them right out. I don't know how his health is, but he's not dead. He's in a cold sleep and his system is working properly. I wonder if he'll be all right. I'd also really like to know who he is and where he's really from. Only time will tell. Hey, looks like he's waking up. Well, time is now. Urgh. I don't know what voice to give this dude. It's not really a hobo. Where am I? I don't know, same voice as, same voice as Commander Grant. It's okay, you're safe. You're aboard our spacecraft. What happened to my ship? I'm afraid it's a wreck. You're lucky to be alive. Can you tell us your name and where you came from? Yeah, that whole Mr. X thing has gone very quickly. My name is Aldous. I'm from the Giorna system. Ah, that's where they have the gang stars. Giorna? But that star system disappeared suddenly 16 years ago. Disappeared? Well, that means... Well, that means... I'm too late. No. No, it can't be. I also realize he has chuny arm wrappings. Too late for what? 
too late to save my planet and my people from the Crawl, those planet-eating fiends. I came in search of our final hope for defeating them. The Spectrobes! Looks right at the camera. Spectrobes, the extinct creatures from ancient times, but those are nothing but fossils now. Ah, so I was right. There are fossils here. But, yeah, but... What about minerals? Are there minerals here too? The gem-like rocks in the ground? Of course, there's plenty. I finally did it. I finally found the origin star system of the Spectrobes. But I'm too late. My beloved Giorna has been completely wiped out by the Crawl. I don't understand. What are Crawl and how did they destroy Giorna? Where to begin? The Crawl are wicked, amoeba-like creatures. They completely devour stars and planetary systems. They travel in tornado-like clouds called Black Vortexes. I just fought something that sounds exactly like that. I wonder if it was a crawl. You fought it? That's impossible. There's no way you could have survived a crawl attack. Actually, some creatures came out of this device on my arm and trounced them for me. Uh, that's my Priz mod. Can you actually use it? Maybe? I'm not sure. Listen closely. If the creatures you saw emerged from a black vortex, I'm sure they were crawl. And the creatures that leapt from the Priz mod on your wrist are spectrobes. Those are spectrobes? Yes, but back to the crawl. If you saw them here in Nanairo, it means they've targeted this star system. You must awaken the spectrobes and prepare yourselves for battle. Awaken spectrobes? Prepare for battle? That's crazy. How are we supposed to do that? If you trust me, and to give me a little time, I could show you how. I need an energy source. Oh, I need an energy source. Can you use some of your ships? Can I use some of your ship's power? I guess so, but let me assist. We're responsible for this ship. I'm still paying off the insurance on it. Rallon, you wait here in the ship. You can activate the Prism mod with the X button. Once inside the Prism mod, use the stylus. Nope, I'm not going to do that to navigate the menu. Try touching the status option to check the current status of the spectrobes in the Prism mod. I mean, I can, but I I won't with the uh, with the touch. Cause why would I touch when I can just button? Right? So we got a uh, battle set. Right? We can check our, our spectrobes here. So the two that we have to start off with. Oh, frick. Do I have to use a touch? Oh, I have to touch. Oh, it's annoying. Well, we have here our first one. SPA99. A spikin. He has hammer lash. Spikin whips his tail and emits three shockwaves. That's his charge move. We also have uh, ZOA99. The Zozane. And he has Turbinder. So Zane leaps into the air and and does his speed spin and cra does his speed spin. Crashes into foes. Okay, so real talk. I really like Spectrobe designs. They so these are the only the level two ones. Spectrobes are three levels. Level one are baby. Level two are what would be a final Pokemon, and level three are greatly over-designed. To a point where it's actually kind of cool. Uh, so yeah, we also have the search there. We'll get to that later. That's neat stuff. That's neat stuff. Rallin. So we could check our, our, our Rallin here, who is very, very low poly. Uh, he has gloves, swords, blasters, suits, and items. We will work on those later, because that's not for now. Uh, otherwise, items. I don't think we have much. Yeah, just our basic equipment. Love his big dumb Hulk glove. The case, this is when you're out and about, you can fill it up with stuff to take in, right? You, you only have finite space. Status. So yeah, this is our party here, right? We got we got it, we got them all. You can see their support levels. I think by putting them in the back, it ups their support levels so you can like max them out. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. Alright. So, first off, uh, our our spectrobes are they're hurting a little bit, just a touch. Let's let's heal up. Give him the good juice. Yeah, so once we get into more battles, I'm definitely going to have to see about fixing the uh, that, that audio stuttering there. I never got into much battles while I was practicing, so... Hey, Rallin, everything is working fine. Come down here and check this out. Okay. Let's go. Okay, so... Oh, see, like, that's weird. 
right? You can sort of see there's a bit of distance. It's a bit strange, but hi, let's talk to you. Rallon, I want to give you this fossil. You're going to need it. Round God Comapod. Now you need to use the lab system behind me to awaken it. Awaken it? Yes. First start the lab system, then slide the fossil into the awakening room and speak to it. You're able to use the prismod, so your voice should be able to awaken spectrums as well. And he's not joking about that part. I tried to awaken spectrums by speaking them, but I couldn't. Guess I don't have the power. Yet. Yet, indeed. Alright, start the lab system, yes. Alright. We're gonna go to the... Awaken. Alright, so we slide up this boy. And now we need to speak to it. And that's literally the case where you, what you need to do is... Yeah, you press it and you go... Ah! For a couple seconds. You gotta hit the red zone. Let me see here. What should I say to him? Come on, little dude. You gotta wake up. There we go. See? And we get our first buddy! There he is! His name is Komainu! He's a Komainu! He's like, like from Japan! Right? Okay, so let's go back. And we're gonna call him Koma. Because he's gonna put them in a coma. Actually, he won't. He won't be fighting. He won't be fighting at all. That's not, that's not his role. Babies can't fight. We are going to go to line up. And here, we're going to put our search spectrobe. Right there, so you can get one search spectrobe at a time. He's right there. Little guy. Pop him in. And now we have our own little buddy. We do have, like, the library where you'll be able to see them all. Right, you'll be able to check out the spectrobe server. Right, so you get to look at all of them once we get them, right? We don't have any in here, though, right now. Uh, we'll also have... Oh, whoa, 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 you can press that. Uh, can, can, I, can I rotate? Okay, rename them, go to the database, and then the custom parts. We're gonna, again, see that later. Also, there's an incubator, which, again, we'll deal with later. It's a monster collecting game. There's a lot of stuff. And look, we got a little dude with us. Just as I thought, you can communicate with them. I knew there was something special about you when I first saw the prismod on your wrist. The thing I stole? Okay. So this little guy can be used to battle crawl? No. A recently awakened Spectrum is only in child form. It's like a newborn baby. So I'm going to throw it at them. He's like, what? No, what? No, you, no, what? what? I raised questions. I mean, I guess you are space police. But they can't fight with a very useful. They can help you locate buried fossils and minerals. Wow, that's pretty impressive. There's touch the spectrobe. There's also, I think, a button at the ground, and it will scatter the ground around itself. If you discover something, touch it to excavate. That's amazing. Hey, Realm, this could be useful for our work. Why don't you give it a try? But you and the commander keep saying no monkey business and stick to the plan, remember? This isn't monkey business. This falls well within our, the scope of our current mission. Listen up! If we detect a larger twink bling spark, we should excavate it. Those spots bur mark buried cubes. Cubes? What are those? Well, <laughs> you see, Rallin, it's a it's a three-dimensional object that builds up most of the world. It's believed that the cubes are inscribed with ancient secrets about the spectrobes. They have untold value and must not be overlooked. Just touch them to excavate them. I don't even remember what the cubes do, but I remember getting them all, and because it was like. He made such a big deal about it. So, uh, hey, the DS era loved its excavating, and we're going to do that. And don't forget to use the spectrum for searching. Just touch it, it'll scan the area around itself. Stay focused, find fossils, minerals, and cubes. Gotcha. Boop, 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 boop. Ah, jams. Touch spectrum, it will do it. If it finds something, an exclamation, yeah, yeah. If you touch it, you can excavate it. Yeah, unfortunately, we have to touch it, right? That, that, that because it is touch-based stuff. I think, I think there is a button, like I said, that, that, that he can, you can use to get them to scan. Yeah, there we go. It is, uh, it is L, sorry, R. Scan the little area around. 
Now here's the thing, you might be like, dang, that's a really small area. Don't worry, different different child spectrobes have different ones, and I know where to get the best one. That is knowledge that's in me. So yeah, we see that, that's a fossil, because it's orange. So we're gonna start by going here. Break through the layers, we see it, and oh, we get to see our first one right here. So, go with... Red is for uh, very, very like, uh, quick in course. Uh oh, we broke it once. There was a little noise. You might have heard it there. Okay, so we want to get, we want to actually get it to 100%. Also, you can blow away dust with the fan here. So we want to try and get it to 100. I'm trying to even see where it's not uncovered. What about 91, 92. Okay. This dude's awesome, just as a design. I love this dude. One of my favorite designs. Okay. I'm trying to find where these final little bits are. You want to get to 100 if you can, because then you get uh, better stats. Come on. Must just be missing a little spot, and I'm gonna say it's probably right around here. Yep, there we go. There we go. Oh, I broke. I hit him again. That's fine. It's fine. Come on, where is it? It's not there. Step at the tip here. No. Where's the final percent? This one, I remember always giving me trouble actually trying to figure out. Oh, also. Uh, oh, I guess. I guess. It, there we go. You can also just scream to blow, but I didn't. We got the Shapod. Nice. So that's our first one. Little guy. Again, we'll, we'll get to see him later. You don't need to get doubles, I'll say. Oh, we got another one here. Little egg boy. I'm gonna try and be a bit more precise. Okay, so there we go. So yeah, this one's this one's gonna be pretty easy to get all the way maxed out. Cause he is a little egg boy. I don't remember all their names, I'll say. So yeah, you saw it kind of went up there a bit because of my talking. Um, that is because it's, yeah, it's reacting to my voice. I don't 100% remember all their names, but there's some that have very memorable designs. Where's this last little bit? I'm just trying to find it. Right at the tip there? No. Okay, let's go. Oh, we hit it. We accidentally hit it. That sucks, but it's fine. Only a little bit. Okay, whatever. Pick it up. Yeah, that's fine. The Segu Pod. There is excavation level, so you want to. Whoops! You want to try and uh, and get that as high as possible. So, usually in little corners. Like little pockets like here. That's usually where you can find them. It's usually not in the open, but you can find them in the open. Like we saw this one right here. Again, if it's a double... Oh no, that looks different. If it's a double, you really don't need to get it. As long as you don't go too ham... You can usually go right over it, and it's fine. I don't have my mouse showing, but just know that, like, you know, you can sort of see where I'm dragging. You can go right over it, and you're usually fine. Yeah, this one's got a big tail. This is actually the baby form of the spiky in that we got, who is, uh, really actually quite good. Let's uncover its tail. Go ham on him. Okay, I think we actually, yeah, if, if I really just go nuts with this, it's not that hard to get him to 100, it seems, and not break him. 
There we go, the spy pod. Nice, 80%. Yeah, that's why you want to get that, right? Because that's that's a big, big increase. Rallin, have you been able to excavate any fossils yet? Yeah, I've collected several. Hurry up and bring them back to the same ship so we can wake them in the lab. Understood. Well, we want to get other stuff too. Because there's, there's more important things. Uh, if I'm correct, I think there is a... Okay, well, the, so these now are the important things. So, there's four of them here. Now this here... Ooh, we got a good one right away. These here are the minerals. And much like a goat, your spectrobes, they crave that mineral. This one you're not worried about as much with getting them good because it doesn't do anything, right? That's a defense C. So we can now get the next one. Okay, so let's just go. So different shapes equal to different elements. And so we can just clean it up. Yeah, the thing that's important to remember is that, like, unlike the fossils, you just want to get these as fast as possible, pretty much. Now, you might be like, dang, it seems kind of annoying to have to get them, you know, yourself every time. There are ways of fast-tracking it after. No worries there. I think this is the the attack, if I'm correct? Or is this another defense? Yeah, this is the attack. Yeah, attack is a triangle, I remember. Yeah, each one ties to an element. You pick it up. Power C. Yeah, we want to get that excavation level up too, for sure. So you can sort of see exactly how this would be super addictive if you were a kid. Especially because, uh, as we're going to learn later, there's even some, like, ARG elements to it, which are wild. Uh, there is... They really plan for this to be a whole sort of thing. Like, not just a little series, but, you know, not just a little game series, but they, they wanted it to be a lot more. Uh, which we will get to when we get to some of the later stuff, too, because I do want to show off there's some neat stuff for sure. Alright, so... Yeah, there should be a... Right, right where he crashed, roughly. Right around here, right? There should be a cube, I'm pretty sure. I definitely remember there being... Well, there's more fossils. Let's see if there's anyone that is a new one. What's that? Is that the spiky boy? It's just spiky boy again. That's fine. And the other one. There's usually a couple in each area. Uh, that's a different one. Now this... This one leads to one of my favorites. This one legit leads to one that I love, so... We're definitely going to be getting this one. This this guy was... This guy's kind of my jam. Don't worry about the custom parts just yet. That's, that's a thing for later. I'm pretty sure... Maybe it's up here. I don't... Uh, I don't really want to fight you. Okay, well, we'll fight. Show that off again. So, as I sort of said, your main things are you're going to be... Aiming a direction and then attacking with a dude, like so. You can also charge up. Kind of the best, kind of the best way to do it I've found is to just uh, kind of work on getting them charged up and then you know attacking. Because you charge more than fast enough and it does way more damage. Right? I say as that didn't even hit at all. Oh, that's oh right because there's type matchups so these dudes are red and red is not good or green is not good against red cool little guy can you can you pop your shoot special thank you we can also just pop a super on them just to deal with them well we're rather weak again it, I think it picks like what element is the most common among your two and then does a super based on that so we are quite weak at the start here there we go one more it's a bit of a weird combat system this gets changed slash fixed in the next game no worries right do i want to show off all the spectrobes yeah kind of 
because uh, this series is wild. It's so... It's, it's a series that I loved, my friends loved, and no one else did. That's just another villapod there. We don't need him. Yes, exit there. More important things are kind of getting, like, one of each. There's no, like, branching evolutions as far as I remember. Right? It's mostly just... Yeah, it's another one there. You can get multiple of them, um, and there is some, like, kind of alternate forms. But at the same time, it's... Yeah, we'll kill this dude so we can excavate here. It's not the same as what you might expect. So, we're just gonna start by powering... Just to get rid of these guys while we're quite weak. And while our dudes are dying. So this is how I played as a kid. I would run away. I would charge it up. This is this is actually how I would play. And then I would dead it to max. I would then go like this. And rinse and repeat. And that's how I played basically a lot of the game. Until I realized, oh my dudes are so powerful that I don't have to worry about it. But that came later. At the beginning, your dudes are weak AF. So, right, so that did a lot to him because he was, uh, blue there. And this dude's gonna be hit, not hitting very much, so we're gonna get you. Yeah, see, bad match up there versus there. Yeah. Let's go. There's a little bit of auto lock on, but not a lot. Yeah, we gotta we gotta fix that crust. Again, I'll work on that. I I'm running this on an emulator because it's the only way, right? So we'll, we'll get around to it. We'll get around once I once I get to it to fix that. So there was some. Again, craving that mineral. Ooh, green. Pick that up. I do like how once it's 95, he's like, yeah, just just rip out the rest. <laughs> That's all you need to do. Okay. So again, we want these for sure because uh, your little dudes, uh, as we sort of showed, they do evolve. And part of that evolution process is getting them to have high enough stats. So the process of getting high stats is getting them the minerals, which then they can... Uh, ingest and grow stronger with. I love the fact that these, you know, naturally... Whoop, I'm kind of breaking it. These are like super naturally occurring geometric shapes in the ground. It's kind of hilarious. So yeah, it, it's like a... It's like a... Ooh, that's really deep. It's like a rainbow sparkle when you find a cube. I'm kind of shocked we haven't found one yet. There we go. Grab that. This game busted up my DS touch screen so bad. So bad. So we should check down here too. Ah, well, speaking of, good thing we did. There it is. If I recall, it's it's they're they're pretty sturdy as opposed to everything else. Yeah, and we can just pick that up. The Alpha Cube. Nice. So we can go bring that in and see what we get. Uh, as you can probably tell from the name, there is a cube for every letter of the alphabet in Greek. So, that is a thing, right? I definitely think already we, we will get someone who is better than Komainu for the, uh, for the searching. I think our little eggy boy we got is better. Could be wrong, though. I will try and show off as many of the Spectrobe designs as possible because they are really cool. However, there are some that are extremely rare. And so as such, we won't be seeing. So, let's start by talking to you. Hey, is that a cube? We can analyze my capsule, we use my capsule to analyze its contents. We found an alpha cube. It appears to be inscribed with data about awakening spectrobes. The trigger to awakening is, is to use the right voice level. Yes, that is very obvious. That is very, very super obvious. That one, that one is very silly. 
Cubelist has been created inside the capsule to store data so we can read them. They are, they are tips, they are tutorials. They go till the end of the game. Round try to okay, so yes, yeah, find some minerals. Can't wait to see them evolve. So we will we will work on that for now. Start the lab, yes. We have a couple that we want to awaken. So let's start with awakening. Start with the shot pod. I'm a shark! There we go. It is a flying sword shark. He's a sword fish. He's a swark. We got the segu pod. Egg boy, egg boy, egg! There we go. He's a little eggy lad. Look at him go. Be egg. We got the spy pod. This is again a baby version of uh, the spiky and we have now. Easy, because he's so he's so easy to unlock, right? Some of them you have to do your voice very specifically, and that is tough. Sponic. And finally, R. Aw, this one's the good one. That's me cooing to the worm. That's me going uh, cooing. Worm up. All right, so let's now go to the to the incubator. So this is where you can put any spectro. Well, first off, actually, let's go to line up. Let's see who's actually has a better search radius. Um, line up. So this guy has so he's range of three, 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 four. Well, darn. For now, we're gonna have to put you on. Right, because I want to, I want to see what see see more. So for now, we'll not use you for combat. Don't worry, I have a way of getting one for free for combat. So in room one, so you basically can put two spectropes. So we're gonna start with uh, in this room here. Let's go with Koma and Swark. And so they're in here. And now, much like your Chow Gardens, you can give them food. And they shall grow. Eat. Eat, my little friends. You must grow. Please, for father, you must grow big, big and strong. Swark, you missed. Come on, grow. All right. Let's give them some more. Again, we want to see these dudes evolve, so... Okay, and then one, two, and then we'll have them duke it out for the HP up. Actually, Swark needs it more. So we're drop it on him. Eat it. Eat it, buddy. You fool. So you can also zoom in on them. You know, uh, let, let's go zoom in. You can pet them. They sure love to be pet. I don't know why it's glitching out like that. Come on, buddy. Am I petting you? I can't actually tell. Uh, oh, I was, because he had the thing above his head. Shakin. There he is. All right. So we gave him some lovin'. Not much else we can do for now, uh, other than we can put our... Oh, right, actually, I forgot. You do want to make them by theme. So we're going to make this the Corona Room, which is a problem right now. Um... So let's go... Because you can change it to the theme, which I think you do by... Maybe we don't have access to that right now. I know you can change the... change the theme of the room. Hmm. 
right? Because it's all plus right there. Maybe get that after. But for now, yeah, you do want to you do want to kind of label them by room. So in this case, we can go with Swarkin. I'm just combining his name, Shakin and Swark. He's now Swarkin. And then in this room, we can pop in our boys, B Egg and Sponic. Take a look at him. He is Egg. And he is a little hedgehog. Good boy. Good, good, good boy. Okay. So, let's go out. I swore there was a way to change the element, but maybe you'll knock that after. Also, once you do stuff, it saves because reasons. DS. I don't know. Okay. I believe there's more than one form of cube whenever you find a new and bring it back ASAP. We'll analyze it. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, try to excavate. Okay, so... So he, she wants us to head out and explore some more. I forgot when you move on. But we'll see. I think it's when you need them to evolve. So for now, let's go out. We got a boy with a bigger range. It's bigger, right? It's, it's I'd say that's above average size, right? It's, I would say that's not a bad size at all. I'd say it's pretty good, you know, just me. Uh, but we have a whole other area we can explore anyways, because we went to the left, or we went to the right. Now let's go to the left. Also, like, around here. There is a thing, and he's so happy. Let's get some more of this. I have no idea. Like, unlike Pokemon, where you have fairly clear ideas of what evolves them, and even like Digimon and stuff, I have absolutely no idea what are the thresholds for evolving them, uh, so I will just keep on trying. Hello, cube! Don't mind if I do. Yeah, you'll see a lot of spots like this where you have many things. Now, you do actually have a small one as well, so if you really want to get minutia about it, you can, right? If you really want to be like, I don't want it to go too much, right? Yeah, you, you can basically hold it on this one and you're good. I say as I am crashing, right? So let's just clean this out. Pick her up. I don't even see why you'd have the blower there when you can just scream into the mic, but alas. Oh, we're done? Nope, I pressed the other button. Alright, let's see. What What is this? Another egg boy? I don't need an egg boy. Don't need no egg. Weird you gotta tap twice. And it does get rid of them. So be careful. It's a one and done thing. I love monster collecting games. Like, it's such a simple pleasure. Just grabbing dudes from this big list of them. Them making ones that are like event exclusive them hinting at future ones to come. That's the good stuff, baby. Also, yeah, you can just rip on through with this. Just go ham on that touchscreen. So this was of that era of fossil collecting games on the DS. There's a lot of them, you know? The Nintendo has their own Fossil Fighter series. There's... It was kind of a big deal. I didn't get super into Fossil Fighters. I think out of all the, the fossil ones like this, this this to me was my fossil game, right? Is this 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 was mine. So yeah, we got the kind of upper area here. So we'll keep exploring a bit. Check up here. Oh, hello. New area. What's this? Is that the spiky boy? Yes it is, we're good. Don't need that. Don't need to waste my time. There are, I think, seven planets to explore. So we will we'll be seeing a variety of environments. Egg Boy. Each with their own spectrobes to find. Usually it's around the edges like here, right? But sometimes they're in the middle. Sometimes they're just in the middle of nowhere. It's not random. There are set locations where they can spawn. 
But boy, geez, if it don't feel like it is random at times. Okay, pick that up. Okay. I think there's stuff on this little mesa right here. It's a little plateau. Yeah, I knew it. Alright, so let's grab the cube first. I love just the tapping to break away the layers at the start. Just a simple pleasure. Just so simple. Because all you're doing is you're just doing it to break through each layer and one tap is breaking through one layer. But boy, jeez, doesn't it make me feel like I'm a cool dude just breaking through the earth. Gamma cube. Another spectrobe here. What do we got? Another sh shark. We're good. There are also other types of minerals, like the ones you see here. They're, like These are the basic ones, but there are other ones as well with unique and sometimes complicated shapes. That said, they're all pretty much, like, you know, excavatable in 2D. So it's, it's not like there's any crazy sort of things that change up. So this is pretty much the gameplay loop. And much like a excavation stream by Germa, you just never know what you're gonna find, right? Except, I mean, you do. It's, it's. I've played this before, and you know, I, I, I know where some of them are and stuff. Uh, but okay, come on up, buddy. Okay, so let's start with the spectrobe. Okay, nothing there. No, there is. Now, once, once we get out of here, we will have much more story to go off of. Oh, don't worry about that. If, if that's your concern, it's like, oh man, you're just kind of dropped. No, no. We, af after this tutorial planet, it's pretty much in with the story. It's not a case of, oh, you know, it's go at your own pace. Or, no, 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 no. It's, it's, this, is, this is a story-driven game for sure. It's uh, a pretty good story too. Again, Disney made this to kind of be their own Pokemon. And dang, if I don't want this to come back. Dang, if I don't want this to be in Kingdom Hearts. It's really cool, and, you know, will it? No. No, not at all. We'll say the delay on my mouse makes it very easy to not kill with the super drill. Okay. Exploring here. Well, we got a battle. It's fine, because uh, beating them up does also level up our dudes, so. Oh, I forgot I can't use the. Uh... Gotta remember, I cannot use the uh... control stick, right? Because there is none of that on the DS. Okay, so let's just start with. Nice. Come on, get him. Get him. Decent. You can hit him multiple times. If you have a really strong dude or a dude with a big, like, arc, you can absolutely hit them at the same time. Like that, right? That's why I do like Spike N quite a bit, because uh, he does have, like, this good arc that is very good at destroying enemies. Yeah, baby. Good job, guys. Our, our dude is dying. We really need to heal him. <laughs> That's fine. Our mine energy has increased. That's like the name of their stats, the mine energy. So when you see mine energy up, it's you can know what it is. What do we got here? The only thing I want is a Komainu maybe, but no. Don't think there's anything else on the first planet, really. I think we've about, about exhausted it for Spectrobes. some of this. So yeah, if, if you get the meter up all the way, it does break, and then it's gone. Which, you don't want. I don't think there's any other consequence, really. But it's a shame. So yeah. So yeah, always sort of check on some of these larger areas, you know, when you're running. Clean this bad boy. Clean her up, clean her up. Reese's Puffs, Reese's Puffs. Okay. The end area here. Is there no 
cube? There's the cube. I was gonna say, this looks like the perfect area for a cube. Tutorial cubes in my tutorial game. Pick that up. Okay, Delta. I think that's Alpha, Beta, and uh, Gamma, and Delta now. Nice, that's, that's the letters. Okay, good, I want another one of this boy, for sure. Okay, let's actually be careful with it, for sure, because I, I like this boy a lot. He's my lad. My endgame party was literally two of them. Uh, at their max level. And that was it. Was it unbalanced? Oh yeah. Did they get epically owned by certain enemy types? Oh, you bet your bottom dollar they did. But jeez, were they good. And who cares about the enemy type when you can just run around and power them up and do the super. Right, that's... That's how you do it. Power B. Okay, so with all of these, I think we'll try going up to the top of this mountain here. But then after that, let's, uh... We might just... Because I, I don't think you can do much up here. I think, I think you get to a point where, like, that's it. What is that? Oh, it's it's the spiky boy. Okay. Ooh, we get our first compound mineral. So this is cool. They start to combine shapes, and so it's like health plus the uh the defense, right? So you got them both. That's cool. It's fluorite. They're fluoriding the water, and it's making the children have good teeth. How cringe is that? That's the thing, like, cavities are not really a thing here, as they are in the States. And I think it's because they put fluoride, well, fluoride, is fluoride and fluoride the same thing? I don't know, either way, they put the teeth whitening stuff in the water, and it, uh, it does good for that. Oh my goodness, look at this shape. It's also gonna be a fun game of what, what mineral will they call this, right? This one is... Jade! Sure. I like it, it's funny. Oh jeez. Well, I'm actually gonna be very careful because our dude's about to die. So I'm gonna do my baby strategy. I'm gonna do what I would always do, which is this. Run around. Just keep on running. Just keep on running. And then once it's ready, pop the L and R. And I, I, I guess the thing is, you might be like, that's kind of cheating. But at the same time, that's how I played it as a kid. Because I'm not going to say I was bad at action games. So what I'm going to say, I was pretty terrible at action games. We could also actually. That wasn't great. Oh, my man got hurt. Never mind. Let's run. I, yeah, the... It gets better later on, once you have more stuff and better dudes, but for here, this is how I pretty much got through the beginning of the game. Alright, and then... Cool! Nice whiff, buddy! There we go. Because yeah, at this point, we can just... There we go. Because we are, we are hurting. Our dude is hurting. I love the fact that every battle, it's not levels, it's your stats just go up. That's good. That's the wrong button. I thought I went into a cave for a sec. No, I want to press this button. Nope. Okay. Oh, is there two of them? There super is. There's a, there's a, there's a cube there. There's absolutely a cube there. Okay, well. Time to do the same thing again. Just because I don't want to have to worry about our dude dying. Because then he makes me sad. And I actually have no, I, I, ooh. Actually, now I think about it. I think when you do, uh, lose, like, both your spectrobes, Rallin is left alone. And that sucks. Because you saw that he does one damage to the, earliest enemies in the game, that's how he works. 
he literally will deal one damage to them. Okay, let's just run up and there we go. At least we did some. There we go. It's nice guaranteed damage, but at the same time, your basic charge attacks do a lot. So they do have max caps for their stuff. Oh, we got a basic serum. Is that a healing item? Sure hope it is. I don't remember half this stuff. Yes, that's a totally a healing item. Look at it, it's green. Cool, nice. 50 heal, I'll take it. Okay, so let's, there was the cube up here. Oh, where is it? There it is. All right. Now, as far as I'm aware, once you dig up a cube once, it's gone. There's no more. It's not like you'll get doubles. It's you've got it and that's that. So that's good to know. There we go. Pick that up. Never mind. That's another gamma. I sometimes lie. And by lie, I mean misremember stuff from me childhood. Uh, one of my best memories of this game was playing it in a Chinese buffet with my friend who also had a copy. And we would like link up and play together and it was the best of times. Shoutouts to my boy Georgie. I don't know where you are. I haven't seen you in years. But the last thing I saw on you on social media, you were ripped as hell. You definitely put down the video games. I didn't. No, I did not. I turned them into a career. You became absolutely freaking hench. That's uh, just just how it is. I actually, I was like, I moved away when I started making videos, so he knows that I was making videos. But uh, he, I don't think he knows of the extent with them that they've become my life. It was a, a good time. I always was jealous of him though, because he could just literally say, Mom, I want this game and get it. Or meanwhile with me, it was not that case. Got some agate. I definitely, I had, I had, to, I had to work and pray with my one or two games a year, right? I hope I get a good one. For a big one like Smash, I'd have to beg my mom to be like, Mom, every kid has this. And sometimes she'd, she'd relent, but not always. All right, so that's, yeah, there's a blockade up there, but for now, we'll see if this is the same or different. Eventually, my dad just got me an R4 chip as a kid, so I was able to just download them. No, it's another beta. Uh, I was able to just download them, and so that was, that was nice. He, he basically said to my mom, look, if we buy this one, he will never have to buy him another one. It was kind of true. After that point, I pretty much bought them all myself with my own hard-earned money. And by hard-earned, I mean whatever my grandma would give me whenever I saw her and whatever I was able to excavate from the couch because, of course, uh, I wasn't allowed to have a job. Until once I did, once I got YouTube, that was, that was, that was different. Sign says, danger ahead, keep out. So yeah, we can't go there just yet. But we can head on back. Is there a, is there a quick return? Am I, am I, am I tripping? I think, I think I am tripping. I don't think we have a quick return just yet. Right, you get an item that lets you do the quick return. And it, that, that's, that's a good one. Also, yeah, sometimes they don't follow you. Sometimes you have to, like, like, they, they, they just stick around. It's a bit strange. So, yeah, let's head on down. And this is pretty much all of Daichi right now. We, we went through through the majority of the planet there. This isn't going to be a very long Let's Play, I'll say. This, this game is fairly short if you're not going for completion. And uh, it is... I like it. I like it a lot. I know some people... I, I'll say this. Spectrobes 2, hot damn, does it improve in, in every way to the point where you look at Spectrobes 1 and go, wow, that's... a markedly worse game uh which yeah definitely however it's still one that i definitely enjoy plus again it's kind of the basis there 
right? It's so it's you you gotta play this first. It's just how it goes. So let's start with you. Cool. Thank you for not hitting there. Okay. Yeah. See, look, like that damage is mundo. Now this dude, we're gonna have to hit with you. So yeah, you can like cancel their stuff. God, I never thought I'd talk about this game with the term cancel. Like in terms of like thinking about it in terms of like modern video games, right? There we go. Also, yeah, he always faces the camera and does a attack as his win because that's all that they can really do. Never mind, there are levels. I forgot that each stat Wow! Yeah, no, I forgot that each stat relates to a level, and you max it out, then that's what gives them a level. Wow, I forgot about that. Oh, I'm dumb. Anyways. Do you want to heal? Yes. There we go. Our boys are feeling better. Save that game, too. And let's go feed them. Go on down. And, well, first off, we, sh we should actually give the, the cubes there to see what else, what other advice he has. Let's see here. Looks like I found a beta cube. Contains data about just training them. It says you must feed them many worlds and incubator for them to grow. Lab is incubator. It also says you can, uh, the way you feed and raise the spectrum changes abilities. As you see, spectrums are complex creatures. Uh-oh. Well, an incoming transmission from headquarters looks urgent. Understood. What, what about the gamma and delta? I wonder what all the excitement's about. I'm patching it through right now. Round dinner. Where is a report on the mysterious object I requested? Oops. Oops. What do you mean, oops? Gina, did you forget to transmit a report to HQ? I'm sorry, Rallin. I was so focused on fossils and excavation, I completely forgot. You forgot? Save the excuses for later. By right now, I want you to set a course for Colin. Report directly to headquarters. Oh, the commander sounds royally upset. Dealing with him won't be fun. Rylan, I'm really sorry. I can't believe I overlooked filing the report. Ah, no worries, Gina. We'll deal with it. Right now, let's head back to HQ and see what's happening. But, but the Delta and Gamma Cubes. God, these planets are so funny with their low poly. They're so low poly. It's so good. Oh god, are we going right there? We are. And that's what we found, sir. Under normal circumstances, I'd never believe that story. However, we've had other reports of black vortex sightings within the Nanorio system. And if what you're saying is true, those sightings must also be Crawl. Crawl should not be taken lightly. We have the same voice. They can devour entire star systems. Further, I believe Nanairo is facing the exact same threat that Jorn have fought against and lost. And you mean to tell me that our only capable weapons are fossils? Hard to believe. Did you bump your head inside that capsule? Commander! Okay, okay, calm down, Rallin. You and Gina listen carefully. Your new orders are to investigate the crawl in the Black Vortexes. Find out anything you can about them. Valdis will go take them with you. Yes, sir. Head for Genshi, the first planet in the Nanairo system. My memory's correct, there's a rather famous fossil research laboratory on Genshi. That's correct. Several of the Black Vortex have been sighted to that very laboratory, and we've lost contact with Professor Wright. Oh, the fusion dance between Phoenix Wright and Professor Layton, who runs a lab. Let's go! Roger! Rallin, wait! This may be dangerous. I'm going to grant you permission to take weapons. Report to the security center and pick them up immediately. Roger, sir. Alice and I will head back to the spaceship and wait for you there. It means you have to pick up your weapons. Talk to him one more time. Report to the security center, pick up your weapons. Okay, will do. I'll say, and this is something I, I, I will genuinely credit. This game, this game treats the DS sound font really good. Like, the DS sound font is historically... Like, the, the speaker is bad, 
But actually, I'd say that this game does a pretty good job of sounding pretty normal. Been some uh, long time since we had any serious cases, so it feels kind of weird to have to carry a weapon now. Also, yeah, this game gets mundo serious for like a kid's Disney game. Like, hilariously so, and I love it. Here are the rumors about the Black Vortexes. What's gonna happen to us? I'm really worried. Okay, so... I'm correct. There's a little weirdo, and that weirdo is who has our weapons. I need to find the weirdo. God, I don't remember half these areas. So our intelligence division, all the intelligence information collected from the star system is stored and analyzed here. Where's our little weirdo who gives us our weapons? Uh, first real combat. Hit, then duck. Hit, then duck. What? There's none of that in combat. But you got chewed up by the chief again. That just means he's counting on you, so don't let it down. Keep working hard. Okay, we'll try. Hello, Rallon. I've heard a lot about you. Sounds like you got a tough mission ahead of you. Good luck. Why do you get a unique outfit? It's like, because I'm cool. Because I'm the main character. So all this came from a distant star system. I can't even imagine how advanced his civilization must have been to cross the stars like that. You're in the Nana Euro system. We can't even reach the other planets yet. Yeah, this is like we're fairly early in the whole space thing in this universe compared to some, you know, universes. Here's a little weirdo. Looks like a grunt from uh, grunt from Halo. You must be Ralph. You're the weapons you've been assigned for your mission. Got a blaster. Got a sword. To equip new items, access Rallon section, and yeah, you can pop them on. Just touch the item you want to equip and drag it to the equip icon at the top of the touch screen. Press the B button during battle to switch between equipped items. Yeah, you can use them all. Remembering new equipment is a business exp expensive business, you know, so if you need further upgraded weapons in the future, you're gonna need money to develop them. I'll be if you need me! He gets a he gets like a full like uh, redesign in this not a redesign but like in the second game, you can actually like he gets a proper sprite when you talk to him, and yeah he's just a weirdo little guy. Face a tough mission, you always carry plenty of recovery items. You can buy them at the shop in Colin. So yeah, this is pretty much your base town, right? This is the one sort of town where you actually get to go and buy stuff. Uh, there is other towns, but if I'm correct, I don't think that you can't generally buy stuff. Ooh, how cool is this? I found a fossil in the plaza area in front of the museum. Hmm. Right. I remember this. There are stuff here to get as well. But first off, we do want to go to... Yeah, I think the ships have people in front of them that let you buy stuff. Hello, are you a shopkeeper? Hello there. Need recovery, so yeah, you can buy some stuff there. But for now, I'm not going to buy any of that, because instead, I want to focus on buying other things. Yeah, go there. It is nice that, yeah, you, you can use um, healing items just from there, so it's good to have. But I'm not going to worry about that, because instead, I want to get... I think that's where another ship docks, so just not here yet. Spectrums are in their fossil form now. I wonder what they look like before they were alive. Ma'am, there is one in front of you, crawling behind me. Do you see him? He's a little lad. Look at this space cowboy! The sonic tools have found one deed. It will gradually excavate items using your voice. It's a great tool for perfect excavating without a slight scratch. Only problem is it'll take uh, it'll take you over 30 seconds to excavate a mineral if you don't use a sturdier tool first. So yeah, there are excavation tools. Hi there! Yes, 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 yes. This, this is the important stuff. So, you got recovery. Single use you can recover. Sonic tool uses voice recognition to break them away. You have a bomb that bombs it. You have solvent that dissolves debris. And uh, this one is the best one. The Giga Tool. Mechanical device can be used for automatic minimal mineral excavation. We're going to save up for that because it literally is an auto do. Now, the only problem is it doesn't work on things that you're getting for the first time, things that are rare, or things that are um, spectrums. So only for minerals. However, boy, Jesus doesn't make the mineral process mundo easy. It You press it and it is automatic. It just, you're done. Uh, so far above the planet's surface, feels like we're in the floating city. Yeah, it's like Cloud City here. 
I'm so angry I could just spit. Why isn't the, the why in the fire of the sun itself is the outpost located on Call In? Fool should move shop to Nessa where the action is. Where's the outpost anyway? Well, we'll we'll deal with Nessa later. Uh, so we do want to go to the museum though, because that's where we can find, as I said, some stuff. Yeah. So you know, look, it's ground, right? So you can actually dig here. Is this just another? Yeah. So yeah, another little spiky lad. I don't know if there's actually another type of dude here. I should probably bring up a list for these to sort of see. Yeah, another Villapod. Don't really need him. I don't remember there being anything exclusive here. But I could also be super wrong. However, there is a cube. So we'll get that. Quickly excavate it. Another delta, yeah, so not a big deal. Another spectrobe. Oh, hey! Is this a Komainu? I think it is, yeah. That's good though. We'll we'll work on him. Little lad, little boy. Yeah, unfortunately there's nothing like um you know using the spectrobes to enhance other spectrobes or anything. Yeah, it's 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 not like you can you can do that uh to to get them, right? You can't pop them on. It's a shame, but you know, it is it is something that, you know, it just means you don't have to worry about grabbing a bunch of them. If you do want 100%, you will need at least two of each, technically, and we'll get into why later. You can probably assume with the name, like, Custom Parts, why that would be. Uh, but there is a special thing you can do with them. Please be another cube type. I'm tired of looking like a fool. Please, please. Oh, Upsil Upsilon. That's a new one for me. I don't know the Greek alphabet. I just guess. Were they in Sonic Adventure? Then I know them. Watch there be a, like an Upsilon in one of them that I just don't know about. Okay. Let's try here. Nope. Okay. This is a, like a fossil museum, so you can... Museums filled with rare items gathered from across the star system. I don't even remember what's in there. Well, we won't know, because it says museum closed for renovations, of course. Renovations. Wouldn't be a video game without them, huh? So if there's one over in the, the other side... Will there be another one here? A lot of, lot of minerals, that's for sure. Aha! Will it be a different one? Let's see. Another Epsilon. Okay, nope. And that's fine. So yeah, if it's your first time excavating one with the Giga Tool, which again, we'll get to later, uh, you won't be able to get it. And I think there is a chance that it will accidentally destroy what you're excavating which is a shame but i also remember it not being much of a problem in the grand scheme of things it's because it's so instant it's like if one breaks you're like okay next one right i mean this, this is pretty fast already but the nice thing is it is literally one click and it makes a nice noise too Okay, yeah, so we're we're pretty much done here. My girlfriend keeps asking me to find her some new minerals. She says there's uh, they'll give her special powers. Yeah, it's called a healthy diet. You need those minerals to live. So just look for, yeah, as I was thinking, I felt it, I felt it in this area, right? Cube. Q. 
cube get? Gamma, another one that we already have. It's fine. I think it's because we haven't turned it in to him, and so he's probably like, well, I haven't got that one yet, so it's new, right? Okay, well, see, here's the problem, because I am I get super addicted to just getting minerals, right? Is that terrible for videos? Yeah, probably. So I think in the future, you know, I'll be mostly leaving that for off camera, because otherwise I'm going to be here forever, because oh boy, oh geez, is it addictive. Hello? Supposed to be patrolling the uh, park, but I'm sneaking a little break. Hey, hey, don't tell the chief. I'll, I'll get yelled at. Yeah. It's nice to know that even in space, people get chewed out. Museum is close to renovation for as long as I can remember. Yeah, because the game started as soon as I clicked. Also, that draw distance is terrible, huh? I think there's actually meant to be more fog. I think it is just a case of, you know, running the game. Are you in Planetary Patrol? Yes. Wow, it's so cool. My mom told me all about you guys. I love it when a chance to slack off a bit and relax like this. It's all thanks to Planetary Patrol keeping us safe and sound. Yo, shoutouts to JRPGs where you can just talk to people and they just chat. That'd be one of my favorite things where you can just chill out with them. It's so nice. Well, let's we'll hop back on our ship. More importantly, let's go down here. So yeah, pretty much all this will stay down here. This is, this is, this is, this is his place. All right, what do you got here, buddy? You brought back a Gamma Cube. Take a selection about leveling them up. Says here, if you give enough minerals to max out this gauge, we'll level up. Wow. I've never heard of this before. They're total 128 levels. I think Spectrum is a... 128 is, is a strange number, but programming. Delta Cube. It appears information about Evolving says it must be... Uh, an incubator must be used to raise it from child to adult, but you simply can't put it in there for a set amount of time. Some there are other requirements, such as uh, depending on its form and strength. Release real information. Okay, what about the last one, buddy? Excellent effort rallying for an Upsilon cube. Hey, good news! It's a very unique cube. <gasps> yes, this one will uh, enable the card input system. This should aid our quest. Yo, card input was the stuff. Okay, setup is complete. The card input system was now functional. Yo. Yo, yo, we'll do this next time for sure, but the card inputs is the sickest. Just access the new machine over there. It's set to handle card input system functions. Yes, it's so cool, actually. It's the best. We will deal with that next time because I'll, I'll be here forever. For now, though, let's uh, awaken our little, a new little boy. The Villapod here, who's ready for action, it seems. Who's a little longer you are? Oh, I'm way too loud. There we go. Yeah, I want to do kind of funny stuff where I speak to it, but at the same time, um, it's hard. Let's call this one... Buggo. And we'll get another Kamina. Why not? Okay, this guy is easy, because you can just talk. I think some of them even go up to five. You have to hold it for five. Okay, so. Come All right, so. Let's go to the incubator one. So let's pop in. You, no, you, yep. Okay, and we're going to drop. I think, isn't there a quick one to just put them all in? Am I crazy? Yeah, okay, no, you just gotta, just gotta do that. So I think some of them just go, some, whoops, some of them go by level. Some of them go by uh, other stuff, right? So you're going to have to pay attention to, to what it is. It might be minimum stats, it might be maximum stats. There's different things. So we'll just keep leveling you guys up. Come on, eat. Eat up. 
So I think you need a cube, and then that cube unlocks the, um, the thing for them. Right? So the smaller it is, the easier it is to level them up. So it's kind of strange. You want low stats almost, right? Like, getting Komainu to level up via its HP is way easier than getting it to level up via its defense or attack. It's a strange kind of system, honestly. Okay. There we go. Just keep leveling these boys up. They can't be... They, they gotta be the strongest. Can't just be strong. They must be the strongest. And you know they're ready to level up because they will start to sparkle. And it's very obvious that they are ready to, to evolve, right? They are very, very clearly ready to. So the health ups. Okay. Yeah, I definitely want our Vlar to evolve because, again, he's probably one of my favorites and I used him all the time. Should I keep using him? I mean, probably not, considering it's probably better to just, like, you know, be extra unique and try out new dudes. But at the same time, if it works, it works, right? Also, yeah, both these dudes are the same element, which isn't the best for us, but I'm mostly focusing on getting my little guy leveled up here, so let's focus on him first. No, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it, Villar, Villar, no! Come on, Buggo. Buggo, eat. But go eat. Or not. The man stole his food. Well, you can also check back every now and then and just be like, hey, are you ready to evolve? And you'll see if that's the case. Again, I think... Oh, well, shoot. You are. Dang, you're ready to evolve then. Use it to open the casing. He's become a Segulose, which is a little dude with little shields. The egg has evolved into Segulose, so we can keep him there, or we can actually pop him into our party now. And the nice thing about him is if you put him in your party, because he's very defensive, he will up our team's defense stats. So that's kind of that's kind of how it works there, right? He's that's what the back party is for. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh god, we got card inputs. That's the best one. That's the best one. We'll deal with that next time. All right, so let's hop in and save. Yes, heal and save. Yes, all right, there we go. Well, guys, thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope that this gets people who've never seen these games to want to watch or maybe play them. Good luck finding a copy. It's not super rare, but at the same time, it's a DS game, so, uh, woof. Right? Lots of, uh, fakes. But otherwise, yeah. We'll see you guys next time for some more then. Ciao.